This simple little math problem is going to confuse a lot of people. Let's see if you can figure it out. Okay, so you have two coins and the value of these two coins is 30 cents. Now, one of these coins is not a nickel. So what are the coins? All right, now, if you think you can figure this out and feel free to use a calculator, put your answer into the comment section. I wanna walk through exactly how to solve this problem in just one second. But before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, you have two coins and the value of these two coins add up to 30 cents. One is not a nickel. What are these coins? Okay, so we have a few things going on in this problem. First, we have two coins and the value of these two coins is 30 cents. Now, cents is a uh, unit of measure, a monetary unit of measure for coins. So if you don't understand US, uh, the US monetary system, I will do a quick review so you can kind of fully engage in this problem. So again, if you don't know what cents are or what a nickel is, well, then you're gonna have a tough time solving this problem. But we do have two coins and the value adds up to 30 cents and we're told one is not a nickel so what are these coins so we need to know what coins we can choose from all right so let's talk about coins here real quick and basically in the u.s monetary system like other uh, fiat monetary systems you have little uh, paper currency right like dollars so our uh, first uh, paper bill in the u.s is one dollar we have other bills like $5 and $10, but this is paper stuff. And then, of course, anything less than $1 in terms of values. Now, there are exceptions in terms of coins that are greater. At least I hopefully I'm not outdating myself, but I think there are coin. Um, some of you, I'm sure, know the answer to this. Put that into the comment section. But uh, typically speaking, when you want a... Uh, uh, monetary value less than one dollar dollar we need to get change right so you're like hey i need change for one dollar so we're going to end up with some coins all right so <laughs> this is kind of what i'm getting at i want to kind of keep this video nice and simple so these are our choices here and uh, we need to understand the different coins that we can choose from and their respective values so here in the U.S., uh, this uh, sign, this is the dollar sign. This is, uh, we're talking about dollars here, right? And when we're talking about coins, we're talking about cents, right? So cents is uh, coins and dollar bills are, are talking about bills. Okay, so hopefully you understand that. So now let's go ahead and talk about the value of the different coins that we have in the U.S. or the United States. Okay, so our first uh, coin is the penny okay so this is like a little copper round thing that of course we could put in our pocket and that is a penny and it's worth one cent now if you have 100 pennies you get to one dollar so i probably should have uh, stated that a dollar bill is worth 100 cents okay so you can have more interesting uh, math word problems that have to deal with money where you're talking about dollars and cents but uh, just in case you didn't know that, there you go. All right, so one uh, penny is worth one cent, and if you have 100 cents, you have one dollar. Now, the next thing we have is a nickel, and it's worth five cents, okay? And then we have a dime, and that is worth 10 cents, and then finally, we have a quarter, and that is worth 25 cents. Okay, so if you didn't understand uh, the various coins that we can uh, choose from, well, maybe now you can figure out this problem. Okay, so we have pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. And again, going back to this problem, you have two coins, and the value of these two coins is equal to 30 cents. Once not a nickel, what are the coins? So now that we know something about coins and understand the problem, we can apply some basic math to get the answer. All right, so we have pennies, 
nickels, dimes, and quarters as potential coins, and we know the values of these coins, and we know we have two coins, and the value, the total value of these two coins is equal to 30 cents. So how can we get 30 cents from two coins? Well, if we have a penny and we add it to a nickel, well, that is going to be six cents. So that's impossible. If we have a nickel and we add it to a dime, we'll get 15 cents. So that's not gonna work either. So if we have a dime and a quarter, we get 35 cents. So that's too much. So there's really only one way we're going to get 30 cents here, right? So you're probably saying to yourself, well, we need a quarter, right? Because we only have two coins. So we need a quarter here. Matter of fact, I'll do it this way a quarter because this is worth 25 cents. So if we need a quarter, well, that means we need a nickel, but we are not allowed to have a nickel because the problem said no nickels, right? Now, a lot of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you got the problem wrong, all right? The problem did not say that. The problem said what? It said one's not a nickel, all right? So you have two coins and the value is 30 cents. One's not a nickel, okay? It doesn't say that you can't have any nickels. So hopefully most of you picked up on this, but I can tell you right now from experience, a lot of people read this problem quickly and their brains kind of just interpreted, oh no, nickels. So they're just kind of, you know, maybe trying to figure out how to get to 30 cents. But of course, you know, if you play with this enough for a quick second, it's impossible to have two coins that will get you to 30 cents. So you do have one nickel, okay, one's not a nickel because it has to be a quarter. All right, so a nickel plus a quarter is equal to 30 cents. So this is a very simple math problem. The math here is very simple, but what is not uh, simple is how you approach how you approach a math problem, okay? So I always say when you are doing a math word problem to use something called the rule of three. And that is to read the problem uh, one time, just kind of get a general sense of what's going on. Then read the problem again, make sure you understand what the question is asking, and then you know kind of read it again to make sure you have all the information, okay? So basically, Make sure you read the problem more than one time, at a minimum two times, but I'm gonna suggest three times before you kind of let your brain uh, kick in. Because if you don't, you can easily kind of skip over something or misinterpret the problem. Now, if you're interested in relearning mathematics and you've been away from math for a long time, a few suggestions. One, you may want to check out my Math Foundations course. You can find a link to of, uh, this course in the description of this video. This is a quick review of basic mathematics. If you want to review um, basic math plus algebra and geometry, you might want to check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Now, whether you are uh, taking a math class, maybe in college, high school, or preparing for some sort of test, like a teacher certifi a certification exam, or looking for a homeschool math course for your child, I offer a ton of courses that, you know, basically uh, fit all these categories, right? So you gotta check out my full uh, course library. You can find that at tcmathacademy.com. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.